Hey guys, it's Tammy. Um, I just wanted to come on and do a really quick MCU recap in my series for Agent Carter Season 1. So, welcome back to my channel. Um, thanks for coming. Hope you're enjoying everything that I've been posting. The interior design stuff, the MCU stuff. So, I just wanted to do some housekeeping first make sure that you like the videos make sure you comment because i do like talking to you guys share subscribe and hit that button so that you'll be notified every time i do a new video once it's uploaded so now that we have the housekeeping out of the way let me just say that i have a friend and he is a marvel um a mcu wacko and he let me know that I forgot, <clears throat> excuse me, I forgot something from the Captain America, the first Avenger movie, which was the, we were introduced to the Tesseract. So Dave Lamb, I'm, I'm agreeing with you. I did forget that. I'm sorry, you guys. So we were introduced to the Tesseract in the, um, in the Captain America the first Avenger movie so I apologize for leaving that one out I was trying to rush through I still get nervous doing these videos so um, if you guys have any suggestions on how to keep me from getting nervous I'd, I'd be game for that too but so let's talk about Agent Carter season one a uh, very interesting show we're going to talk about the um i'm not going to do an episode for episode just because it's going to probably take too long but i'm going to do a kind of breakdown on um on just the the whole season so basically we're being introduced to agent carter and her life after captain america um puts his plane down in the ocean and what she's doing and how she became who she is so it the episodes kind of start out with they show her working for the SSR and she's telling her friend she's working for the phone company because clearly they have to be undercover. She is not doing any of the things that she's used to doing. She's not like when she was in the army, she was a big deal and she was actually able to fight and she was able to um, go undercover and do different things like that. And they're not letting her do any of that. They have her doing filing, answering phones, doing stupid stuff like that, not utilizing her talents basically. And the first part of the season shows us basically they're finding these weapons are popping up, all of these, um, these new age technology weapons. And they're Stark weapons. So not Tony Stark, Howard Stark, his dad. So all of these weapons are popping up and they basically are trying to find Howard and bring him to justice. And Howard finds Agent Carter via his butler, Mr. Jarvis. Um, interesting that Tony's um, computer program was Jarvis, so. And it sounds like him too. But, um, so he, he sends Mr. Jarvis to get Agent Carter. She kind of beats him up in an alley. And then he, he like almost runs her over and she like starts shooting at the car. And then she figures out that it's Howard. Howard asks her to clear his name. So in the meantime, her roommate that she was staying with, she got killed by some man that doesn't have a vocal box. He has like this big X, you know, on his throat and they have to talk with those little things that they use um, when you, I think when you have lung cancer or something, it's something with smoking and they have to use those vocal boxes. I can't remember what they're called. I apologize. Um, so that's like the big thing so we're clearing howard stark's name 
So they go through a number of different things. She has these other two detectives, Thompson and Sousa, who n really never want to work with her. Sousa kind of has like this thing for her. He likes her. And then a big um, fight breaks out when she they find out someone that's supposed to be buying some of Tony Stark's um, weapon or Howard Stark, sorry, Howard Stark's weapons and she goes and she fights the guy and like and then this other guy takes the the guy that was supposed to be selling it to him takes the weapon he leaves it's it's like a big mess but she has on a blonde wig because they don't allow her to go on any missions and they didn't want her to go on the mission so she went undercover to try to see if she could figure out what was going on first so that she can help howard well, Sousa, um, they take a picture of her, but they can't do anything but get the back of her because she made sure that anytime anyone tried to take a picture, she would like turn her back. And Sousa is the one that finds out, like he looks at her shoulder, he sees these two gunshots, um, wounds, and he, she has on a dress at the office one day and he sees those two wounds. So he figures out that it's her. Um, and then we're introduced to the school where Natasha Romanoff, aka Black Widow, is trained. And I thought we were going to see Black Widow. I don't know why, because she would be like way younger. But we actually get introduced to this chick named Dottie. She goes to live in this woman's home where um, Agent Carter goes to live after her roommate gets killed. And she meets Dottie. Dottie's like this really cool lady. She seems like really country. She actually winds up being a um, a Russian spy just like um, Natasha is or Black Widow. And she was trained at the same school. And she actually breaks into Agent Carter's um, apartment. She takes this like poisoned lipstick that Agent Carter wears sometimes to get people to pass out or whatever. And she'll kiss them or whatever and she um she takes the lipstick and she's like watching them and and they um they go over to russia they rescue this doctor he's actually working with the spy as well and agent carter sees him doing um morse code on a window seal and they send people over to the other building to find out what's going on and she's gone at that point and it's it's just a crazy whole situation one of the big things about this season and this show was that howard lied to her and told her that there was like this big weapon it was in it was like this ball and it could <clears throat> it could total a whole city well, that's not what was in the little ball. In the ball was a vial. And she finds out that it's actually Captain America's blood. It's Steve Rogers' blood. And she is so livid with Howard. And she doesn't even want to help him anymore. But then she gets arrested by the two detectives. Because they figure out, you know, that was her at the meeting. And... Um, so they're questioning her and stuff and that's when she sees the doctor doing the Morse code because she kind of looks at him through a different room and he he's also a hypnotist and he hypnotizes the chief to take him to where they're holding all of Stark's stuff after they found it on this boat and he steals this vest he puts that on the chief so basically it, it blows up after like a couple minutes or whatever the vest does and the he still something else it's called um number 17 it comes out of number 17 um case or something and it's basically this aerosol agent that dotty they go to a movie theater after he steals it and he leaves the doctor leaves and because they figured out that he was working with someone and they were going to arrest him but he left before they could and then the vest blows up the chief 
so when they leave they go to a movie theater Dottie and the doctor and they release this agent and it causes the people to go crazy in the movie theater and they fight each other gouge each other's eyes out bite each other it's just like a crazy crazy situation and then Sousa and Thompson actually go there to see what what was going on after the movie theater um, associates call and they go to like investigate or whatever and Sousa finds the the canister and he touches it and it sprays in his face and he almost kills Thompson he punches Peggy um so whatever it is it's like a, a chemical weapon and it causes people to go crazy so they come up with they did that just to test it and see if it worked so Dottie and the doctor come up with a plan to hypnotize Howard Stark and have him fly a plane over the city and release the agent in these different canisters all around the city and then everyone there is going to just go crazy and they're all going to kill each other so that was his plan um obviously it was foiled uh they figure that out they figure out what he's going to do and they kill i think they kill the doctor no they arrest the doctor Peggy thinks that she killed Dottie. She knocked her out of a window and onto a, a airplane wing. And she thinks she kills her. And then when she comes out in the end, the lady's gone. So she's like, oh, I'm guessing that's not the last time we'll see her. But he does hypnotize Howard when Howard comes back out of hiding. And Howard is flying the plane. And he thinks that the doctor makes Howard think that he is he's going to find Steve like they found his signal he's going to find Steve he's going to put the plane down in the snow and he's going to get Steve and Agent Carter is trying to talk to him on you know through the airplane and she's trying to let him know you know no that's not what you're doing you're actually about to release this agent and somehow she talks him out of it and then he's like yeah you're gonna have to explain to me what happened and how this happened so she gets him to put the plane down safely they really release the or not release they um gather the toxic agent and prevent you know sudden death from going on so that is the gist of that um that whole season i gotta tell you again i'm not a agent carter fan um, there's a lot of things that I kind of didn't put in this video because I actually tried to record this video before and it was like 40 minutes long and it wouldn't even let me post it. So if you want to know a little bit more about it, leave a comment below and I will kind of dig in a little bit deeper. Maybe I'll do it in like separate um videos i think agents of shield i'm probably going to do each season as two videos so i'll do the first half of the season the second half of the season because there's a lot going on in shield um agent carter just wasn't my favorite like i i didn't feel like we needed a story about her so sorry but that's my recap of agent carter and what went on in that whole season um, what there was something at the end and now I can't remember what it was let me kind of go back to my notes um, I don't know that was it the them kidnapping Stark and um, Dottie and the doctor but so like I said make sure you leave a comment below like the video share the video um, and stay tuned for my next video, which is going to be Marvel's one-shot Agent Carter. I don't know what to expect from um, these one-shots. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to find them. So we'll see. Hopefully I can, and then I can do the recap for that and then move on to Agent Carter Season 2. But 
Um, hopefully, I will have that going very soon. We'll see. Anywho, like I said, like, comment, share, subscribe, and hit the bell. And until next time, guys, bye.